Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make these chocolate chip cookies. They go perfect with a glass of milk or even a scoop of vanilla ice cream. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Alright, so the first step is to brown our butter. And this is the secret to um, having a really deep and rich tasting cookie. So you're going to um, turn on the stove to like maybe medium heat. And you're going to put one stick of butter into the pot. Alright, so while we're waiting for the butter to melt, we can measure out our, the rest of the ingredients. So I already pre-measured the ingredients. So in this bowl, we have our sugars. We have third cup of white granulated sugar and then half cup of light brown sugar and then for the dry ingredients we have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour uh, one teaspoon of baking soda and then one teaspoon of cornstarch now the cornstarch is like something not a lot of people put in their cookies but for me i like a really soft cookie and so this will al almost give um like a cakey ish texture to the cookie and then I also have um, ha half a teaspoon of s cinnamon as well. And then in this bowl we have three fourths cup of chocolate chips and then you can add more if you'd like. And then in this bowl we have one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. And then we're gonna use one teaspoon of vanilla as well and then one egg. So for the egg, you want your egg to be at room temperature because this will make sure that the butter doesn't like curdle. Because the butter, since we're melting it, um, if you mix the warm butter with the cold egg, it, your butter might curdle and get kind of clumpy and we don't want that. So room temperature egg will offer for a more smoother batter. When measuring out ingredients, a trick that I like to do is scoop the dry ingredient and then take a knife and scrape it so that way you can get an even amount of ingredients in the cup and then you can just measure it out so while the butter is melting you'll notice that there are going to be a little bit of like white clumps on the top and that's okay we want to go past that stage all right so after heating the butter for a couple minutes you'll start to notice that there's a nuttier aroma in the air and then if you look closely, you can see small brown specks sitting at the bottom of the butter and that's how you know it's ready to be taken off the heat. All right, so after taking the butter off the heat, you're gonna let it cool down for a couple minutes because you don't wanna put the hot butter in with the rest of the ingredients because it can actually melt the sugar and we don't want that in our batter. And then it'll also make the, um, egg cook when you mix with it and we don't want scrambled eggs in our batter so let it cool for like maybe five ish minutes until it um, reaches room temperature and then we'll it'll be ready to add to our batter all right so after the butter's cooled down you want to add both your sugars into the butter so i just put the but i just transferred the butter over into another bowl and i'm going to put in half the sugar at a time mix it and then put in the other half all right so after mixing your sugars we're going to crack in the egg and then add in the vanilla All right, so after adding in the egg and the vanilla, we're gonna add in the dry ingredients as well as the chocolate chips. So first, I'm just gonna um, put in the flour, baking powder, cornstarch, and cinnamon into the mix. And I'm gonna put that in in like three batches. So I'll put some flour in, mix it, another batch of flour in, mix it, and then the final part, and then mix it. After the batter is roughly mixed, I'm going to add in the chocolate chips as well. So 
So after the dough is all mixed together, scrape down the bowl a couple times. And then after that, we're gonna put the bowl in the fridge to chill for two hours. So before putting the dough in the fridge to chill, I like to put some plastic wrap over the bowl. So that way everything is airtight, nothing gets in it. So after the dough has been done chilling in the fridge for two hours, you're going to take it out and then you're just going to grab like little pieces, depending on how big you like your cookie. Um, they don't really, they kind of actually do spread a lot. So I get them about this big, maybe like the size of the golf ball. And then you're just going to place them on a parchment paper. Alright, so I typically like to put eight cookies on a sheet like that. And then also you have to preheat your oven for 350 degrees. So while you're rolling out the dough, this will be a good time to preheat the oven. So that way it'll be ready when you're done. And then so earlier I said we needed some salt, but I didn't put it in the dough because I personally like to sprinkle it on top of the cookie. So just give each little ball of dough a good maybe a pinch of salt on each one. I just kind of like the way that the salt kind of offsets with the strong, the strength of the um, brown butter, as well as like, cause it is a sweet cookie. So I kind of like, it's kind of like sweet and savory at the same time. So after you put a pinch of salt on each ball of dough, it's ready to go in the oven. I like to bake the cookies at 350 degrees um, for about eight minutes. All right, so after the cookies are done, you can just transfer them to a cooling rack to cool down. All right, and that's it for the tutorial on how to make the chocolate chip cookies. This batch makes about 30 cookies. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you.